Welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner where we do reviews and comparison between different kind of coffee gear and espresso equipment. Today we are going to be focusing on the Barazza Siete 270WI. But before we get into that, I ask you to do a few things. The first thing is please subscribe. Subscribing really, really helps me produce more content tent, and please hit the like button. Liking also just helps more people see the content that I create. If you're looking at purchasing anything, whether it's this grinder right here or some other things that I might talk about in this video, please use the affiliate links below in the description Well, I will make a slight commission at no extra charge for you. All the money that I make on this goes directly directly back into YouTube where I will buy gear to do reviews and meet the requests that you guys have given me. So we're going to start off by talking about the Barazza 270 WI. This is a espresso grinder made by Barazza and it has a scale built into it. The starting price for this is I believe $580 at the time of filming this video. Sometimes you can find it on sale for about $550. One of the unique things about this is it has a built-in scale, so the WI stands for weight something. I don't know exactly what that is, but inside this grinder has a $150, basically a Kaya scale, so it grinds by weight directly into the cup, as you see, or a portafilter, and it will be pretty, pretty darn accurate and does it pretty quickly. So as you can see right now, it has this little grounds bin here where you can just pour into um, your portafilter or if you're doing like an AeroPress or something like that you can do it that way you can also buy an AeroPress attachment so you can grind directly into the port of uh, the AeroPress if you push in on the right side you can lower these arms and you can slide this across here and this basically will hold a portafilter and you can adjust it by an allen key that is included right here so you can adjust that up and down so you can fit any portafilter whether it's a commercial grade one as seen here or a breville barista express one that's 54 you can fit it in there one of the cool things that i never really did a ton with this grinder but you can fit the flare pro 2 portafilter with the funnel on the arms right there. So it's going to weigh directly into that and you can grind straight into that. However, I do find it a little hard to pull in and out of there. So I typically would use the tray and just pour straight into the funnel there. This has 200 er, 270 different adjustments, which is what you'll see here all the way from fine to 31 coarse and then a alphabet dial from A all the way to I for those micro adjustments there. It's got the lock and hopper so you can just easily remove it from your beans and pull it out. This has very very low retention due to the fact that the outer burr spins instead of the inner burr here. So the grinds will go directly from here all the way through into your portal filter so you won't really retain a ton of grinds inside the grinder. It takes about roughly six is six or so seconds to grind a uh, full 18 grams for espresso. I found that in my shots and all of that stuff have come out very very well for this grinder. I think it does pull some really really good shots. If you're buying this for course or for V60 or Kalita Wave, it will not do a very, very good job. And that's just not my opinion. That is opinions from so many people. I actually bought this grinder from somebody who placed fourth in the US Brewers Cup a few years ago. And I bought this from him because it could not do a good enough job of grinding on the coarser levels and he did not have an espresso machine at home. So he had it, no need for this. Overall, this has been a pretty good grinder for me. It does a great job. It's quick. It's really, really noisy. Part of the reason is because all of this is plastic, so it comes really, really loud, but it does a really, really good job, and it does it really, really quickly. For $150, $180 less, you can buy this for $400 without the weighing in there, so you'd have to pre-weigh your beans or do it by time. It has three presets here so you can do exactly what you want and then a pulse button to kind of get the grinds exactly where you want in case it 
ways off like 17.8 you can pulse it a couple times and get that 18 for 400 for the same price you could basically buy this grinder without the scale and buy the gr the scale separately and honestly i would almost in some ways lean toward that because it gives you more versi it's more versatile if you have a separate scale and have a separate grinder you can do more you can brew a pour over on this you can use it for all these other different things versus in the grinder it's very very limited to what it can do but i do however say that it's really nice to store just a little bit of beans in the hopper just like so and then grind on demand and it's the right every single time you don't have to weigh beans you don't have to single dose or anything like that and it does a really really good job now here comes to the ugly part of it. This is an expensive grinder in my opinion and probably many of your opinions as well. For $550 there's been a lot of problems. I've owned this for three years but it's probably a four year old grinder. This was originally a Barazza 270W which had some issues and they redid this faceplate and I added on and switched that. But since then I've had a lot of problems with this coming loose right here and it would move on me. I'd also have problems with this upper setting here jumping while I grind um, and I've had to get both of those fixed. Baratza has pretty good customer service. This included just a little screw. I've blown the fuse on this I believe three times so I had to take the entire grinder apart to replace the fuse in the back here. I've had to replace the motor on this thing. Um, the motor blew and I had to replace that and I had to replace place this little this entire um, gear adjustment here for the sake of the fact that it was jumping so I have had to do a lot of repairs and fixes to this grinder but every single time I had an issue with it Baratza got back to me very very quickly very very responsibly and has sent me the part for free as well as giving me instructions they also gave me the option to send this grinder to them for them to do a repair all I had to do was pay the shipping for the grinder I instead chose the part and did the labor myself and found it all pretty straightforward from somebody who didn't um, do a lot of repairs on grinders or know what they're doing and it was relatively easy to do Overall, this grinder has been great to me. It's a great entry level to espresso grinder. There's a lot of people who use this and have used it and have recently maybe upgraded to like things like the Niche Zero or uh, a nice HG1 hand grinder or a hand grinder in general. When I compare this to some of the other things I have and have used, this has done a dramatic job better than the Breville Smart Grinder, which was my grinder before using this. However, the Breville can do okay at espresso and then okay in the pour over range, so it's like subpar in everything, versus this can only do the espresso range. Um, everything else is it just, it lacks. Um, it is really annoying how loud it is. The scale works great. I haven't had any issues since upgrading to the WI about the reliability of the scale. If you change dramatically on the sizes, it will be off for a few grinds, but I think the I part of it stands for intelligence, so it learns kind of how quickly it comes off. The scale is built into these arms here, and it does a very, very good job like of dialing an espresso. Your first time to a new bean might be off like a couple grams in the coarser range, or a couple grams above or below, but overall it will get the job done, and it will correct itself for the next time and be closer to your overall weight. So it's a, a pretty good grinder. It's very accurate. If I grind into here, it's going to be the exact same weight on this scale. I've tested it back and forth. Um, whatever this screen says up here will also be the same as this scale. It grinds great into a porta filter. I've had no issues whatsoever as soon as I got, um, as soon as I switched from the flare into a, a machine a commercial grade machine it had no issues grinding in there this had no issue holding in place it had no issue with spilling it can be a little bit messy there's no real catch for the grounds or anything like that but it grinds super well into a porta filter and it's very reliable on that edge of things would i buy it again honestly when i think about if i would buy this again i would say it just kind of depends for me for a while and for the first three years of having this, it worked great when it worked, but when it would break down, 
and have those reliability issues, I would be without a grinder for a week or so until I got the part, took it apart, got it fixed, and figured out what the problem was. Being without a grinder and having that lack of reliability is kind of a pain in the butt. Fortunately, I always had a backup grinder, whether it was the Breville or a hand grinder. It always got the job done. So on a reliability standpoint, if this is your only grinder, it will be really frustrating in a lot of ways, but it'll be really nice every single time it is working. The reason why I'm not keeping this grinder, I'm actually getting rid of this. I already sold it to a friend. The reason I'm switching from this grinder is simply because uh, my wife can no longer have caffeine. So she has decaf, I have normal, and um, switching the beans out of the hopper and redialing in the grinder is very cumbersome, very kind of a pain in the butt. I actually use a hand grinder every single morning for my shots of espresso. So we're switching to a grinder that can single dose so we can switch back and forth from decaf to regular without a problem and it'd be an easier workflow on both of us without um, being kind of a pain and without having to change an entire hopper of beans. Uh, that being said, Expect a video coming soon whenever I can get my hands on it, but I'm picking up a niche zero to replace this. So I'm spending an extra $170, $150 or so to upgrade from this because I already have the scale. The scale part isn't that big of a deal. But when I was thinking about getting rid of this thing for the longest time before my wife had to switch to, to, to decaf coffee, when I was thinking about getting rid of this thing, I had to get a high enough dollar for it if I sold it used uh, because it's just so darn convenient. And I think that's the thing that this grinder, I think, could be any other grinder in the fact of how convenient it is. If you are grinding directly into your portafilter or grounds bin, keep in mind I use this for the flare for the longest time. It did a great job. If you're doing that, clicking that button and having it grind in the morning and not have to worry about pre-dosing your beans or weighing your beans using a nice scale so you can always have that 18 gram, 20 gram, 14 gram, whatever your dose is. Having this scale is phenomenal. And having the reliability and the, the perfection of that scale every single time. Akaya is known for their scales. They have the top of the line, the best scales that you can buy for pour over, for espresso, all these things, never had an issue with them super quick, super consistent, and that's where the Sete 270WI really, really comes in clutch. Really, really is why it's worth it. So if you have any questions about this grinder, wanna know more, let me know, but I ask that you please click the subscribe button, smash the like button, and if you're looking at purchase anything, use the affiliate links below where I'll get a slight commission at no extra charge for you. Thank you for watching.